Hey everyone, Laura here with Rags to Rugs, and today I'd like to share a gadget. Now I'm not big on product reviews. In fact, this will be the first one. Um, generally, I'm very hesitant and skeptical about gadgets until I find out that they work. And then I'm kind of like, why didn't I try this sooner? Or why didn't I invent it? Um, but this is a product that really works. It's a bias tape maker. Um, and for those of you who are new to rug making and are frustrated with working with fabrics where the backside is different than the front, uh, this could be the perfect gadget for you. Now, this was brought to me, oh gosh, a year, two years ago by a mutual friend, Patty Wilbanks, you might know her. And she approached me and she says, Laura, have you ever used this? And if so, what do you think? Well, I answered the first part of her question and I said, no, I've never used it. And then I let it drop. Well, a couple of weeks ago, I thought, you know, I'm going to give this a try because I'd had a couple of new um, crocheters um, to the field and they were frustrated with the backside of the product um, and they wanted to know what I could recommend. Now, if you are using, for instance, our batik fabrics where the front and the back are the same, or if you're using our broadcloth solids where the front and the back are the same, this probably isn't something that you're going to be concerned about. If you are, however, using our rug on a roll fabric, all the fabric on this roll is going to be white on the backside. And as a beginner, we don't want you to focus on trying to manipulate the fabric. We want you to focus instead on technique. We want you to focus instead on pattern. Uh, instead of focusing on how to turn the fabric so that the backside doesn't show. Now, I've been making these rugs for like 35 plus years, and I think my brain is just trained to manipulate the fabric, turn the fabric as I'm crocheting, because I literally can make a rug, for instance, this one, in an evening, and not have to really think about the backside showing. My brain just seems to know how to, to do this. It's kind of like, if you've ever tried to teach somebody how to braid hair. To you, it's really simple. You've done it for so long, but to teach somebody else, you have to teach them how to use their fingers, right? In order to manipulate the hair. Or if you were uh, a twine weaver, and it's the first time you're trying to teach somebody else how to twine weave, you use all your fingers, right? To, to, to twine that fabric onto the warp. It's the same thing. So with me, 35 years experience, this is, very simple and and but for our beginners again we want them to focus on the technique and to make it and i want you to have a rug at the end of the evening and you're proud of it. and it's it was easy right well this little product this um, bias tape maker is wonderful um, this particular one is by clover it's an 18 millimeter which is the ideal size for our two inch wide fabric strips um, the same as what i showed you earlier it's perfect for that we do sell these on the website, free, free shipping always. We ship them out the same day. So if you want to take advantage of our website, that's great. However, you can go online and you can find um, many different brands and many different sizes. The 18 millimeter ideal for two inch, but there's different ones ideal for the one inch or the one and a half inch or the two and a half or three or whatever. So don't feel like this is the only one. Find the one that's right for you. Now, so one thing I would like to suggest is when you get one of these, dismiss the instructions that are on the inside. I don't know who wrote them, but they don't make a whole lot of sense. Just follow along with me and I assure you it's going to be far better, more successful. So this is what the product actually looks like. It's a little gadget. There's a large side here where you feed in the fabric and a small side here where the fabric is feeding out. There's a little hinge right here, and this is the hinge that you're going to use to help guide the fabric through. And then if you'll notice, at least if you can zoom in on this, there's a little groove right here. Now the instructions that come with it suggest using a Taylor's Awl, A-W-L. I didn't even know what it was. Maybe I have one, I don't know. But we, uh, we tried a straight pin, we tried um, an ice pick, we tried a toothpick, we couldn't get anything to feed the fabric through. I set the whole thing aside, I was frustrated, and I came up with a better plan. And that's what I'm gonna teach you today, is how to use this hinge and how to use this so that it'll be an easy process. So we're gonna start right now. Okay, so if Lisa, if you can zoom in, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna fold over the end of your strip two or three inches and press it. 
just like that. Now what I want you to do is take your shears and just cut at a point, get an angle there till you got a little bit of a point. Cut that little strip off. And as opposed to using a tailor's awl or a toothpick or an ice pick or whatever, you'll see how easily that is to feed into your bias tape maker. It just slips right on through and trim that off. Set that aside. Now pull through a little bit more, manipulate just a little bit. Now, again, this little thing right here, this hinge right here, is what you're gonna use to control the fabric feeding into this little bias tape maker. Thumb on the top, index finger on the bottom, and your third finger, slip it right in there and lay it gently on the top of the fabric. Now you're gonna to wanna to round up some straight pins, and as this fabric feeds through, Use a little safe, a straight pin there and feed and, and, and secure it to your mat. Just like that. And again, guide through a little bit more. Straight pin. Straight pin. And then you can literally just iron these down, press these down into this most wonderful bias. You got a steam iron, it works really good too. And continue on. You can remove those straight pins and secure that and as you iron. Now as this is getting uh, made into bias, just have a little uh, basket down here beside you and drop them all in. Remove those pins as you go and press as you go. Now, eventually with practice, you won't need these um, straight pins anymore. And so you can just continue on. But keep that straight, keep this finger right in here and allow that, see how I'm doing it without even any pins? Makes it super, super easy. Pick it up, move it, and start again. Feed this through here. There's my finger, thumb and index finger. Feed it through. Press as you go. And you'll be able to do this while you're watching a movie with your family. And no more issues with front and back being different because you've now got a bias tape that is absolutely perfect, front and back. So anyway, um, hopefully this will help you. Um, feel free to leave your comments below. And, um, um, Feel free to subscribe and, and push that little bell and, and so we can stay in touch. We've got another video that's coming up on how to make a half moon rug and I'm really excited to be able to share that pattern with you too. So in the meantime, have a great day.